That was so weird, man. I thought we were good after that. What? <laughs> Come on. I was just saying I didn't kill anybody. here and today we're probably going to be crashing a lot of spacecrafts because we're going to be checking out Simple Rockets 2. Now I'm really excited for this game. It's from the same creators as Simple Planes as well as obviously the original Simple Rockets as well. Now this one, not at all like the original Simple Rockets. That was a 2D game. This is 3D. It plays a lot like Kerbal Space Program but I like the building better in this game just personally. So today we're going to try and orbit the Earth. That's the ultimate goal. I don't know if we'll get there. If we can just get to space I'll consider it a success as well, but I think if we get lucky, we might actually be able to do it. So first of all, we have to build a spacecraft. Now, this is the uh, basic build that it gives you at the start. Basically, it gives you your tank, your thruster, and your cockpit. But obviously, we can get a lot more crazy than that, and we let's start off with a little bit of craziness. Now, this game, it's really impressive that you can actually... Whoa, I thought that would follow with me, but I guess not. So I guess you have to resize these and then put things on it. But you can go pretty crazy in this game. You can customize it however you like, and I'm assuming, being that this is a fuel tank, the bigger it is, the more fuel it will hold. Um, now, I know there's a really giant rocket, so I'm thinking I might want to just use that thing, the Apex One. It's heavy, expensive, and drinks RP1 like there's no tomorrow. So, definitely not a fuel-efficient rocket, but I'm about big rockets right now. We're, we're going to try something crazy, at least at the start. And my god, okay, it actually resizes it as well to fit that. I think there's an option to turn that off if you do want to go crazy. You can still probably, yeah, totally do whatever the hell you want. Okay, but that is absolutely giant. You know what? Let's add some uh, height to this as well. I really wish it was connected to it. That's my one complaint, that it would uh, resize it for you. All right, but let's add some more fuel to this. This is going to be a very heavy craft, so I have no idea how good this engine is. Hopefully, it's worth it. I do want to put some stages on this thing, though. It's not just going to be one stage. That's boring. <laughs> so there we go. We have the basics, and you know what? Actually, we're going to... Can we pop this thing off the top? I was hoping we could pop it off. We're going to have to move all this because I do want to do something else as well. Okay, so if you move that and it's attached, uh, it doesn't affect it. So that's good. I want to have a small stage with just the uh, cockpit as well. So do we want to do ion engine? I know there's a pixie engine as well. I think the pixie engine should work well for us. So obviously we need a fuel tank first though. So let's do that. We're just going to have a little guy here. Something to uh, just allow us to thrust around while we're hopefully in space. So there we go. We're going to put that on there like that. And then we need the interstage, which will split the rocket. We can put that on there and we can resize this to however we like. But that looks good to me. And then we can attach that to that. My God. <laughs> Why is this engine so big? I love it. All right. Being that we're probably going to screw up a lot of these runs too, let's try and throw a parachute on this. And we got parachutes right here. What else do we have? We have some fins as well. Uh, so there's quite a bit in this game. It looks like, oh, wow, we can actually have test dummies as well. We might get into that later. We can do solar panels, even shocks. I think you can, just like simple planes, you can create whatever you want. Simple planes basically turned into a game where you could create anything. Uh, I'm hoping this is kind of the same thing with this game because it looks like we can make rovers as well. We also have cargo bays, so I guess we could take a rover to the moon, for example, if we really wanted to. If I get good at this game, I would love to do that, but I doubt I am skilled enough to do that. And then we can do sub-assemblies. I didn't go too deep into that, so I don't really know what that's about. All right, but like I said, let's get the parachute on here, so if we do screw up, at least my dudes are safe. I don't even know if there's actual guys in here, but uh, we're still going to make sure they're safe anyways. All right, so now we need side interstages. These will decouple when we want them to. Uh, we do have to set it up right, though, so let's get this thing... Now, this is going to be interesting. Because this bottom one's so wide, I think we're going to have to build our fuel tanks up above the shuttle. Um, at least I think that's the best way to do it. So what we're going to have to do... Well, first of all, we'll build one, and then we can just clone it. So for this one, let's throw on a fuel tank. And actually, that will be good, pretty good there. As long as it doesn't touch each other, I think we're okay. So we'll put it down to like that. And we want lots of fuel here. I want to go as far as possible. Uh, it looks absolutely stupid, and it probably is absolutely stupid, but there we go. And on top of that, obviously, for aerodynamics, we may as well put a little point. And you know what? Let's make that thing extra. <laughs> what the hell am I making? I love it. 
So looking deeper into this, there's a lot of customization if you do want to do it. For example, you can change like the fuel type, the texture tiling. Um, we can even go like buoyancy. We can change that and modify that. So there's a lot of customization in this game. What the hell is this? These are extra advanced settings that are not fully supported, but they are fun to tinker with. So we included them. Use at your own risk. Um, part scale, mass scale, heat shield. So yeah, if you really want to play with the stats, you totally can. For this first episode, let's not go too crazy, though, because I, I don't even know how to take a rocket off. So <laughs> we'll see how we can do. Okay, so let's try these Meg 1 engines, or was it Mage? Yeah, Mage 1. All right, the old Mage 1. Now that looks like it's well-sized. I think that's all we really need for our, uh, basically, fuel tank boosters here. So what we're going to have to do, and what I really like about this game, is we can just click that, and if we go over to... No, not the staging editor. Ah, there it is. Symmetry tool. We can actually tell it to mirror it, or radial uh, to, to Z, and... Oh, you can even ra ra radial times three. Okay, so do we want to try three out? Can we even go to four? I'm assuming we can. Yeah, we can go to four if we want to. Hell, we can go to five. We can go to six if we want it. That's actually really, really cool. So I'm going to do... I, because this thing's so heavy, I think we're going to at least need three. Let's start off with two. I don't want to go too complex if I don't need to. And yeah, we'll have two side staging rockets. Now, do we need anything else? Am I missing anything? For basic flight, I think we're good to go. Obviously, I do need to do the staging, though. It tries to acknowledge what you're trying to do and build the staging on its own. But I definitely don't want this set up like this. We want the two engines first here. So what we're going to have to do is just reset staging and I'll do my own. Okay, so I'm just going to put everything in the stage four. For some reason, it doesn't let me just reset at all. So the first thing we want to do is put these two engines on, the Mage 1 and Mage... Well, both are Mage 1. I thought, thought they had different names. And then on stage two, we want that to decouple. So if we go into interstages here, uh, we got the two side interstages. So we'll just bring those down to stage two. Stage three is going to be our main rocket. So if we go to engines here, the Apex engine will be the next one. Let's just make sure I'm doing this right. And then after that, stage four, we're going to have to add more stages. So let's do that. We'll throw the pixie engine up there, the parachute up there. Um, yeah, then there's this inner stage. Stage five, we have the pixie engine. And then one more stage for the parachute. Very easy to build the stages. Let me just make sure. Open all these up and just see. So we have the main stage here. Then it decouples. Then we have this stage, and then that decouples, and then we have the pixie engine, and finally, the parachute. I think that should be good. Only costed 7.1 million. Hopefully, I didn't waste that money. Let's get it out there and see what we can do. This is going to be fun. I honestly don't think it will even take off. I think it's a little too heavy. Uh, we can always add more side thrusters if we do need to, though. So, is it paused right now? Let's pause the game. And we are going to go to full power, and I think we have to engage stage one anyway, so I guess we can just go to normal speed. And, well, here we are, guys. This is going to be our first flight. Looks rather barren out here. Let's get off of this and... Friggin' knew it! I knew it! It's too heavy! Okay, so let's just make sure the stages work. So there we go. Stage one's done. Stage two... Watch out, rockets! I'm going through! And, yeah, as you can see, no problem at all. So we just need more upwards thrust with the first two. So, I think we'll add maybe even four to that. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Now, let's make sure it didn't screw up the staging. Now, what do we got working with here? So, yeah, first engine is all of these, and then it should stage two, interstage all of them. So, yeah, it did it automatically, so it's actually pretty smart at knowing what to do. Sometimes it does screw up a little bit, though. All right, let's go back out. If it doesn't work with four engines, we might need to lighten the load, but we could always try six. That's the fun thing about games like this. So, here we go again. Full throttle. And engage those things. God damn it. Are you serious? Come on, man. I thought that would be enough. Should we try six or is it just, you know, to the point where there's, it's so heavy that these things won't work? Okay, you know what? Let's resize these. We don't need these too big. I think we have more than enough fuel. So we're going to have to go up like that. Why does it do that? I really wish... If something was attached to this, it should just reattach. But it's not a big deal, as you can see. I'm just going to try and lighten the load a little bit. And let's boost it up to six as well. I think with six, we should hopefully be okay. At this point, I'm over-engineering, though. But it's kind of fun. I mean, look at this thing. Okay, please work. Come on! What the hell? Why did I explode? It was lifting off! And it explodes? 
I'm wondering if the heat of the rockets ignited the fuel tank below it. That could definitely be a problem if that's the case. I also clicked the button. Oh, it's wobbles. It, it, it's just got the wobbles. I don't know if you saw that, but it was wobbling like crazy. So I think we're going to have to re reinforce it. Uh, undo flight, undo an exit. We're going to have to go back to the drawing board here if we want something crazy like this. All right, so I lowered the rockets a little bit. Hopefully that will reduce the wobble from the top. I think there was just not enough attachment points and I can't seem to attach another one to it. I tried to do it, but uh, lowering the center of gravity might help a little bit. Whoops. Um, heading, let's go eastward, I guess. Well, it doesn't really matter because we're going straight up. Anyways, we'll deal more with that later. I just want to get this thing off the ground. So hopefully this time, come on, baby, here we go. It's looking more stable. It's looking good. Okay, and this is looking really, really good. Okay, so we might actually be able to take this thing into orbit. It's very, very stable right now. That's good. So we're going to pause periodically while I set up everything. So uh, I did do the tutorial. I kind of know how to orbit, but uh, I'm definitely no rocket scientist. So now that we're about a, a, a thousand meters up, we're going to uh, pitch this to about 75 degrees. That way we can start rotating around the Earth. Like I said, the, the ultimate goal is to get this to orbit the Earth. So there we go, that should be good. And we're gonna recenter ourselves. You can see it's trying to do it. Oh, that's a problem. It's going the opposite. Wh what? How did that happen? I'm so confused why it would go that way if we went the other way. Okay, well. Let's see if our parachute works. Let's get this thing burnt. And, oh my god. Okay, come on, little guy. There we go. You know what? Let's throw the, thr the thruster down a little bit because we're clearly not going to go out to space with this one. But we might be able to successfully land it. And if we can land it, I'll consider that a success as well. I don't know when we should deploy our parachute. Probably now. Let's do that. There we go. And we'll just shut off our engine there. And hey, at least I didn't kill anybody. Got close to doing it. That was so weird, man. I thought we were good after that. What? <laughs> Come on. I was just saying I didn't kill anybody. What the hell's the point of a parachute if it doesn't do its job? Did I deploy it too late? I feel like I gave it a lot of time there. All right, so I did some changes. I made the middle rocket the same as the side rockets, and uh, I dropped these guys all the way down to the bottom. I think I just had the rockets too high up on the shaft of our shuttle. I'm no rocket scientist, but that's really what it was telling me. So let me go to the stages, because it's probably broken. It's using, yeah, it looks like all of them. Uh, we have seven on? Oh yeah, okay, so there's six around. So this one needs to go to stage three, I think. Because, yeah, we break those off, and then we have, yeah, the main engine. Okay, so that should be good. I wonder if I should add some wings to this just to uh, maybe help out to the best of my ability. Okay, we do have these little wings here. Let's just add them to our rockets. I hope it's in the middle. It looks like that should be good. Looking down, that looks actually great. So I'm happy with that. Uh, yeah, let's call it a day. Well, let's not call it a day. Let's try and get this thing to space at least once. But yeah, this one should go a lot better. So I'm pretty happy about that. Doesn't really matter which way I'm going right now. Let's just get this thing up into the air. We shouldn't have a hard time this time, I don't think. There we go. Much more stable. The big question is, can we churn this thing? And I want to make sure, is my middle rocket on? No, it is indeed not. So it's set up correctly. So we're going to go up to about 1,000 meters pause it up again and angle it to 75 degrees. This time, hopefully, we actually start turning that way. There we go! That's what I wanted. This looks like it might be a good run. All we have to worry about is our fuel and uh, we might run out of that. Alright, so I also dropped my throttle down to 65% just because we're at a high atmospheric environment. There's no sense burning extra fuel if we don't need to. Okay, 5,000. I'm going to do some more here. Let's go to 45 degrees. We want to be going really fast around the planet. Uh, that's how we're going to orbit. So, ooh, ooh. man, that thing turns quick. I don't know if I like that. All right, well, we might at least make it out of space. It looks like, yes, there is our landing pad there. We are leaving the world. I think we should be okay. We still have lots of fuel, and we're still only on stage one, so I, th I probably got a little bit too much fuel in this thing, but it's better to have too much than too little. All right, once we're 15,000 meters above, atmosphere should be light enough to go back to full burn, so we're going to go back. We have 25% fuel left, and let's drop it down to 30 degrees, 
And now we should be getting close to orbiting. Well, not yet. When we start doing this, it should expand out our pathway. And uh, it's looking like we might actually do it. Hard to say right now. What is this? Oh, that must have been a... T I, I had a test flight that I crashed in the water before this video. That's probably it. Okay, first stage is about to be done. Let him go. Engage stage two. There we go. What are we look working with here? We are 41 kilometers up. I want to get to about 125. So we got a ways to go before that. Uh, I want to make sure we're going fast enough too, though. So keep going, keep going, keep going. I don't know if we're gonna get enough speed. We got to rotate the Earth. That's gonna be pretty difficult. Look at the look at the red right now. It's it's burning up. I hope they. I I, I know you can add add heat shields. I didn't think I would need them. What are we at? 65 kilometers up. Like I said, we need to go to 120. Uh, we still have one more stage, and uh, we still have 60% fuel. It's going to be close. It's hard to tell. 73. It is rapidly expanding now. I think we should be able to hit it. Once we're 125 kilometers up, I'm going to kill my rocket here. And if we do a few smart burns, we might actually be in orbit. Holy crap, this might work. And uh, I've never been able to put anything in orbit in any video game ever, so that's obviously very exciting for me. Uh, wow, we still have 42. We still have so much fuel. We might not even need to use that final stage. Look at this. Look at this. Well, we can always go higher into orbit. We should start rotating around the Earth, though. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to prematurely kill off this one. And... Uh-oh. 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 No! Are you serious? Why didn't it decouple? Oh, I just royally screwed up everything. I went to the final stage accidentally. Uh, for some reason... My, this stage didn't decouple from the other stage, but we're well on our way to orbit. So I got to go back and figure out why the hell that didn't happen. So it looks like it possibly happened, but maybe because my thrusters were still on, I should have killed the thrusters. It was pushing itself into my interstage. So it was kind of keeping itself together. And I think that was the issue. So I think the rocket is still built correctly. I just didn't expect to have fuel for that long. We, we really did put in too much fuel, but it works great. So let's keep with it. I don't want to change anything if we don't need to. And this time, once we need to, we'll kill the engines and just throw off the extra fuel. All right, look at this thing ripping through the atmosphere right now. It isn't totally heated up, but uh, it's looking like it's about to turn red. All right, so we're at 15,000 altitude again. So we are going to pause it. Drop it down to 30 degrees, and let's get this thing back out of the atmosphere. All right, stage is set to be done. There we go. Drop it and lock it. There we go. Stabilize it. It's auto it auto-stabilizes itself, so that's always nice. Uh, I think that's what makes this game a little bit more easy than something like Kerbal Space Program, because uh, usually I'd be spinning out by now. All right, and it really can't hurt to go to a higher atmosphere, so I might just burn this thing all the way down. I'm going to try and continue to go upwards, and this time, yeah, I think I'm just going to burn it until it's depleted, and we'll see where we can go. But check it out. Look at the world, guys. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, can we actually see the moon? I, I think we can get to the moon if we want to. It looks like the sun is indeed over there. I don't know how many planets they've added to this. Maybe they... Oh, yeah, the moon's right there. I can see it. So we must be able to go there. That would be a great challenge to see if we can go to the moon one day. All right, you know what? Let's kill the engine. I'm just going to uh, relax here for a little bit. I want to get to the top of my arc. That's where this green arrow is. So I think we're going to wait for that. And then we're going to do one more final burn. But now that we're, we've are we killed the engines, please tell me this works. There we go. Okay, so we can just use this final little shuttle to do the final burn when we do need to. So we'll put this at 100% and then engage it when we do need to. We're also going to want to align it with our direction, but I think we got to do that once we're there. So let's do a super fast speed up. This is basically the top of the point. This is as high as we've been outside of the atmosphere. So obviously we want to burn right then and then wrap it around the earth. I do not know the scientific terms for this. I just know, I kind of understand in my mind how it works. So this should be pretty good here. We're going to go back to normal speed and we want to engage right towards the green arrow. So I'm going to align that and engage our final jet. There we go. Now, hopefully this thing has enough to put us into orbit. You can see here's our orbit line here. We have to get pretty much both the sides. You can see here's our orbit line here. We have to get this above 100 kilometers from the Earth's surface. So if we can do that on both sides of the world, then we have this done. Come on, man. Come on, man. We're wrapping around. 
20, 30, 40, 50. Oh, we are good. We are going to lock it once we're out, and this should be good. I think if I kill it, which I just did, I think we are officially in orbit, guys. We should be okay. Uh, as long, let me just make sure. This is 167 kilometers from Earth. We are officially in orbit, ladies and gentlemen. At least I think so. I don't know what this red line is referring to. What the heck? Well, let me, you know what? Let's just speed up time and see which one we're going on. Are we actually not out of the atmosphere? Oh, crap. I, I don't think we're out of the atmosphere. All right. Let's uh, re-engage it then. All right. And here we are. I'm pretty sure, yes, we're out of the atmosphere. Okay. So I was worried about this red line. That's just uh, my, my fuel tank from the past. But this is us right here. We are officially orbiting the Earth, guys. How cool is that? I freaking did it. I probably should have put some satellites on this so I could feel like I'm an actual satellite, but uh, I'm just happy we were able to orbit. We still have fuel if we ever want to go back down to Earth, too. We just got to aim downwards and utilize our parachutes. So, uh, yeah, a successful flight, and we orbited the Earth. All right, and I think that's a good time to end off this episode of Simple Rockets, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed checking out the brand new Simple Rockets 2, which is... Much more impressive than the original Simple Rockets. I absolutely love this game. I would love to challenge myself, so if you guys have any suggestions on what you want to see, you can build airplanes in this game, you can build buggies, we can go to the moon, at least from what I understand. Uh, there might also be some different planets we can go to, and if they're not here now, they might be here in the future. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and liking, guys. If you want to know anything more about this game, link me in the description, and I'll see you guys in the next one.